Thank you, Chairperson, and uh, uh, all uh, distinguished guests. Uh, before I talk, I very uh, I have to show my uh, great uh, thanks to the uh, Professor uh, Ting Sui uh, Lei uh, to invite me to here. Uh, this is a wonderful experience to the, the first time to the Myanmar. Um, today I will talk about that this uh, endocrine disrupting chemical and the risk of type 2 diabetes and cardiovascular disease. And uh, I focus on the uh, PFOS and the uh, SADA exposure. There is no uh, conflict of interest to declare. Uh, this picture that uh, uh, I think the this is my childhood. However, uh, nowadays uh, we uh, go to the seashore. This is picture. So uh, in the 1962, uh, the Silent Spring, uh, this is uh, very important for the United States uh, for the environmental uh, protection activity. And uh, now we are facing uh, the stolen future. So uh, this is a picture of the uh, increasing in uh, prevalence of the diabetes in the United States. And I think uh, in Asia area, particularly in the Southern uh, East Asia, uh, in next 20 years, maybe it's double times. So the, it's a very high prevalence at here in this region. Uh, how about the endocrine disrupting chemical and uh, cardiovascular health. Uh, in uh, 2010, uh, the American Association uh, still not clear. They, they just say that the obesity is clear. However, other kind of the cardi uh, health or cardiovascular disease is not clear. So they, uh, they say that uh, near more uh, study to, uh, to investigate uh, this kind of association. And type 2 diabetes, uh, uh, from a, a review article uh, from the EHP, they say that the smoking is clear. Arsenic and the PCBS and the POPS and salad and the bisphenol A. Uh, this is uh, uh, some more evidence has been uh, clear. So this slide is showing that the, the arsenic exposure and uh, uh, type 2 diabetes uh, we can find the trend of increase uh, in uh, the odds ratio of the uh, exposure uh, that the risk of the diabetes is increased. And this uh, uh, showing that the, the PCB uh, and the uh, type 2 diabetes, and we found that this, the trend uh, is, uh, uh, of risk is increased also, but not so clear uh, as the arsenic, however, is increased. Uh, this is one study in uh, Taiwan that is uh, in uh, uh, 1978, 1979. Uh, about 2,000 uh, oil disease uh, victims, uh, they are exposed to the PCBs and uh, their uh, uh, heat uh, degradation products that the PCDFS is the diben uh, benzol furans. Uh, after the 24 years later, and we found that the 5.5 uh, risk of the uh, type 2 diabetes. And this is uh, our uh, recent study. We are uh, uh, to study the effect of the bisphenol A exposure <coughs> and the risk of the uh, subclinical atherosclerosis. And we measure the uh, Subclinical atherosclerosis in the carotid intima media thickening over the right, uh, con uh, the common carotid artery and the valve and ICA. And we found uh, in different uh, segments of the carotid arteries, we, we also found who uh, can be detected uh, with the bisphenol A, the CIMT will increase. So how about the environmental exposure? Uh, and the endocrine disrupting chemical can be categorized at here. This is uh, uh, 2009 uh, in the Stockholm. Uh, uh, they uh, have a consensus this, uh, to uh, declare. CFM, caring for well-being.